Dr. Romano is going to do a problem on solubility. Hi, how are you? I'd like to go over a question that's going to relate solubility and KSP, and you'll need it for the DAT. Here we have the KSP of PBCL2 I give to you as 2.4 to the minus fourth, and I want to know what is the molar solubility of the compound. Now, we all know one of the solubility rules is that if you have a chloride, a bromide, an iodide, these guys are not very soluble if you see something like silver, mercury, or lead. But nevertheless, they're still somewhat soluble. Everything is somewhat soluble. So what we would do is we would first start off and write the equation for the dissociation of lead chloride. PBCl2 breaks up into one mole of lead and two moles of Cl-. Now, once I write the equation, the next thing I do is I write the KSP expression. The KSP is just an equilibrium expression. It's the products divided by the reactants. The products are ions because it's aqueous, and this is a solid, so you don't use it. Whatever they give you the KSP for, it's for a solid. So the KSP would just be the PB++ plus plus times the Cl- minus squared, and you don't use the solid. Once you write the KSP expression, whenever you see what is the molar solubility, that's the X term. Molar solubility is X. Some people call it S. So whichever symbol you want to use. So what I do is I notice that this is a 1 to 2 ratio. So I'm going to call the PBX and I'm going to call the chloride ion 2X. So what I'm going to do is I now go in the PB, we called X. The chloride is 2X and I squared it. Putting the number in, we get 2.4. That should be to the minus 4. Sorry about that. So we're going to get 2.4 to the minus 4 equals 4x cubed, because this becomes 2x squared times x is 4x cubed. All we're going to do is set it up. We don't need to solve it for the depth. So we're going to divide by 4 and take the cube root. So therefore, the, the molar solubility would be the cube root of 2.4 to the minus 4th divided by 4. Part B is an interesting question. It says if NaCl was added, what happens to the solubility of the lead chloride? What I would do here is if you're adding NaCl, we're dumping in a common ion. So what's the common ion? The common ion is going to be Cl-. If you add additional Cl-, it's going to shift the equilibrium to the left. So therefore, some of the reaction goes to the left since you're adding a common ion, and that means you're making more of the solid. If you're making more of the solid, the solubility, it becomes less soluble. So the solubility would decrease. All right, that wraps this little mini clip up. Um, hopefully you got a great idea of how to do this. Um, if you need to build a foundation, I, I can't hype up the Raymond Chang book more. Um, Dr. Chang was actually a good friend of mine. He recently passed away, but he leaves a legacy in a book that I think is a very easy read. An old edition of the Chang book is fine. Just want to go through the chapters so you have a good idea of what you're going to do before you get on to the destroyer problems. Destroyer problems are challenging, but that'll get you to the finish line. If you still have difficulties, once you read the Chang book and you can't do destroyer questions, then the Gen Chem Destroyer, where I baby you and I show you worked out problems step by step to any type of question you're going to say. All right, I hope this gives you a great idea. All right, bye guys.